to pass. I am your host today, JL Benjamin, and I'm here with a special guest, Lino Bradby, coordinator at Tyler Perry Studios. Oh my gosh. How are you doing today? <laughs> I'm doing great. I'm glad to be here, glad to share, glad to, you know, hope to inspire the next generation. And, you know, thanks for inviting me. Oh my gosh. Are you are you ready to jump? Yeah, let's jump. Okay, yeah. we you're not in position. Hey, let's go. Okay, I'm just kidding. We're just going <laughs> to jump right into it. Um, we want to learn a little bit more about your path that you took to, that brought you here to where you are today. So, curious, what's the beginning? Where are you from? How did you get into this field? Yeah, so, I mean, I'm from Charles City, Virginia. Uh, it's between Richmond and Williamsburg, Virginia. And I kind of grew up uh, writing all type of like Christian plays for my church and, you know, having the youth ministry. We act them out for Christmas, Easter, things like that. And it's, it's actually funny, I didn't want to go into film and TV. I actually wanted to be a uh, psychologist and a lawyer at one point. Um, then I realized it was just better for me to write a character that's a lawyer and a psychologist and, and, and play those characters against each other. And in 10th grade, I took a screenwriting course in high school and I fell in love with it. And so that's what kind of sparked my interest to be in film and TV. So what was your favorite play that you wrote? or script that you produced when you were either at the church or as a youth? Um, my favorite script I ever wrote probably was, it was called Christmas Expectations. And it like mirrored two couples who uh, one, uh, uh, two of them worked at a mail room and the other two were like the executives of the company. But both of them was going through like relationship issues with each other. Like one was very greedy, the other one was very like, you know, the Lord will make a way type thing. And so I liked how those characters uh, mirrored each other. And I wrote that in eighth grade. In eighth grade? Yeah. Eighth grade. So if you are a past student right now and you're watching yeah. this, eighth grade, you can start today. Yeah. You're sitting at home chilling, not doing, <laughs> I don't know what you're doing, but you could be doing this. Right. What? So when is that one gonna be on TV? Tomorrow? Or, well, I kind of like threw it away. Like, ah! I mean, it's still in my back pocket, but I haven't really touched it since eighth grade. Um, but now that I look back over it, um, I probably should pick it up because I know I probably can elevate the script to a whole nother level right now, especially just growing creatively and just seeing the world from an adult uh, perspective versus a 13 year old, you know? Yeah. So. I mean, major key, you still yeah. have it with you. Yeah. Some of your, your writings that you did when you were, you know, a youth or a young kid. Yeah. And you brought them with you today. What's the importance? What's the value there? I think the value in just creative writing is like an outlet. You know, you can kind of escape reality and kind of create your own world and create your own conflicts and your own resolutions. And it kind of, uh, it kind of helps you um, just deal with things a lot better. Um, like I knew I wanted to be a psychologist, so I just, instead of going the psychology route, I just became a life coach, you know, after I uh, started studying some of the greats. Like one of my all time favorite mentors is Devon Franklin. And he's a life coach, a pastor, an author, a producer, one of the youngest producers at Sony. And I always uh, was um, very, I always admired him because of his career path and the type of movies he did, you know, from Karate Kid to Pursuit of Happiness. Um, so yeah, he's kind of like my inspiration in that aspect. What's one thing that you try to maintain in all of your writings, whether it's a value add or it's, it's some kind of lesson that you always want the viewers to see? In, in all my um, writing, I try to take serious situations and add humor to them. Gotcha. Because I feel like a lot of times we, we're all going through the same things, but we kind of like need humor to kind of like break the ice with a lot of stuff or to show you that it's not that deep, it's not that serious, whether it's holding a grudge or just, you know, being envious of someone. You know, we all go through things just, you know, privately and separately. So I think humor brings everybody together. I think humor is a universal language across the board that no matter where you're from, you can, all, you can always laugh at your pain. So 